step number five is pricing procedure what is pricing procedure I call it the big bang where all the condition types come together now if you go through our scenario in a pricing procedure typically pricing comes first after that comes discounts after the tax after the freight and after that surcharge this is how pricing is done first you have different pricing conditions then you have different kinds of discounts not all of them might apply some of them will apply and some will not same with tax freight or surcharge all of them will put them in a sequence one two three four five and that is a pricing procedure a pricing procedure is where many different pricing conditions will be put together in a sequence to compute the final price number six is pricing procedure determination when you go to VA01 you just enter the order type customer and materials pricing comes up automatically right you don't have to pick anything related to pricing manually so what is the basis on which SAP picks up pricing the pricing procedure determination is based on three parameters sales area document pricing procedure customer pricing procedure what is this document pricing procedure this comes from the sales document type configuration and this the customer pricing procedure comes from the customer master sales view why is it configured like that well this is the standard SAP way of determining a pricing procedure but wh wh why why this logic why does SAP allow us to determine the pricing procedure this way basically SAP is giving us the flexibility to determine pricing based on these parameters for example sales area that means typically by country so you can have different pricing procedures by country US can have its own pricing procedure Germany can have its own India is different Japan is different they can have their own and you can have different pricing procedures by business process not just by country sales area when I mean business process we're talking about document type you see OR can have a different pricing procedure rush order can have a different pricing procedure cash sales can have a different pricing procedure contracts scheduling agreements consignments they can all have their own different pricing procedures when I say they can have it need not always be SAP is just giving us the provision to have your own pricing procedures by document by customer by country by sales org so I said document pricing procedure plays a role by based on the business process similarly customers also play a role government customers they can have their own pricing procedures corporate customers they can have their own so on and so forth so customer plays a role 
business process plays a role sales area plays a role all these three parameters put together can be used in any combination to determine your pricing procedure